and they'll say, you're a dummy because there is no God or you're a dummy because what you're saying is a fairy tale or you're a dummy because you're believing in something that you have no proof in. So these people get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Croak and Crow podcast. I am Spencer Cardia. I am famous. And this here is Frank looking fabulous. Now I have a question right off the bat. Do you cry at weddings? No. Do you have any urge to cry at weddings? Never. Neither do I. Never, ever, ever, ever. I went to a wedding um, over the weekend and it was beautiful. <laughs> No, and, and so, I'll, you know. No, sit, it wasn't beautiful? What if they're watching? I'm sitting there, and um, I, the person next to me, I'm like, I hear them sniffling. No, you're kidding. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. And I'm like. How close were you to close family members? Not close. Oh, enough. wow. Um, And I'm like, ignoring it. Oh, we probably have allergies. It's a pretty old church. Dusty. And um, later, I was asked, Ali, did you like cry? I'm like, cry? No. Oh, really? And then, fast forward, I brought the conversation up to someone else and said, it's kind of weird to like cry to what, or yeah. like I said, I'm not talking about the spouse, I'm not talking about, I don't, you know, I hate when, I hate when the bride and groom cry. Neither do I, but that's being a little <laughs> bit negative on our Christian <laughs> podcast because right. crying's a nice thing. Okay. So I'll, I, I will, I will give a pass. I'll, to parents. I'll allow I'll, it. I'll allow, I'll allow parents, I'll allow spouses. Okay. I'll make some, like nails on chalkboard. Anyone on this on the altar, you know, if they're that close. Oh, like a bridesmaid or a groomsman or the priest. <laughs> yeah, the priest. I don't want to allow it, but I'll allow it. Now we're talking about audience members, friends, acquaintances. So I brought up someone else and they said, yeah, I think it's pretty, very normal. It's just such a beautiful moment about love. And I'm like, <sighs> I'm scratching my head and I'm like, is it beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. Is it loving? Does it maybe even warm your heart? Yeah. Does it cause tears in my eyes? No. There's two things that make me teary-eyed. Sadness. Can't help it. Boo-hoo. Cry. Or something moving. And by moving, it takes a lot. I'm not talking about like a good singing performance. I'm talking like a golden buzzer. I'm, I'm a sucker for the golden <laughs> buzzers. You know this. And it's not even about... The per- it's a more about like, whoa, what, what a big moment. Yeah. Weddings for me, it's it's not that that kind of thing. It's not a soldier coming home from war. It's not, it's not, it, it, it's very loving and nice. But I, I can't see where, because you know why? This is my biggest thing about weddings. I think weddings are a symbolic gesture for a intangible thing. That is love, right? Mm-hmm. So for maybe that's why. Maybe I'm so like I'm so woke to the idea. Okay. Because I'm like, the bond is there. This is just an acknowledgement that the bond is there. Right, right. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you have internally pledged your love, and now this is just a, hey everyone. Right. We are now telling you what we already knew. Yeah. That we are inseparable for life. Yeah. And so there's not like, like I'm saying, it takes a key moment. It takes mm-hmm. a boom to cause a tear to drop out of my eye. I don't know. I, I feel like it's reaching. I feel like it's reaching to, to feel feel to the point of tears at a, at a wedding. Yeah. I agree with you. I, 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 I have been, I have gotten like choked up or whatever on surprise on surprise events yeah. like a commercial or something yeah on tiktok or it depends on what it, i can't even picture now what it would be but it's like it's so be- it is so beautiful something something yes. So beautiful. yes but um as for weddings and like i, I don't know what the backstory is like a, a speech could could bring a, a tear in my eye yeah because it's like whoa that speech was moving but a wedding we're talking wedding ceremony we're and talking like, about this person didn't come back from like the brink of death and at the wedding. What? <laughs> you know how they have sometimes like, oh wow, like they're getting married, but like, did you know that the groom had almost died no, or like, no, that's one, like, like she was able to walk down the aisle and she no. used to be in a wheelchair. So, so that's what I'm like, like if anyone wants to say, oh, I cried. It was like, there's probably a reason. This is just, you're just a friend to, you're just a, a, a wedding guest friend 
to a very normal happy couple. Right. Yeah, I don't. I and don't, you know what? I don't. Because here, don't. here's my thing about it. It's like clapping at the end of an airplane ride. It's like, why are you doing that? Because I'm really enjoying this, but now you're going to tears. Is that like the, is that the, the new standard being set of this move me more? Would you, were you move more moved than I? Or are you just putting on the tears? I don't mind clapping on air. Uh, I, I don't can't stand the clapping on the air. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind people clapping. At the end of the of the airplane, clapping on airplanes insinuates to me that some that like it was a by the by the, by the grace of God we landed. Okay, would you clap at the end of a car ride? Listen, <laughs> you can. That's I'm not against that. Listen, obviously the plane was never in danger, and the pilot can't even hear you clapping because his door shut. Um, maybe he can hear it. I don't know what he hears up there, but but um, it's just people having fun. You're traveling, okay. you're just having fun. I don't even mind if people clap at the end of a movie in a movie no, theater. No, I'm going to bring that up. I'll allow I don't the, care. I'll allow the plane because you, you know, you're all traveling. Like, well, oh, we're here. Maybe you're going to Florida. Maybe we're at Cancun. It's Ooh. the same idea for the movie theater. M- movie theater? We all just watched a fun movie. Let's clap together. For who? So we're clapping for each, for other. each other? Yeah, we just, Good job. You all watched that not, movie? It's not, it's not congratulatory clap. It's we we all liked it. It's, it. You can't shout out. I liked it. Did you? You're like, yeah, like that was a good movie. We all liked it. We all liked the plane ride. We all liked the the um, movie. But then where does it end? It can it can start or end anywhere you want. You go to a, a food truck and as soon as he ends it to you, you start clapping. You could. Wouldn't someone like that? Well, yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. As for the wedding, um, I, I never got into the. I, I, I Maybe I'm being cynical. Maybe. I would say you are. Maybe I'm being cynical, but here's my pro. It's it's more of me. I'm not cynical. I'm curious. That's all I am. I'm curious. I'm not cynical. I think if someone's crying, they kind of it's something about themselves that's being triggered. Either the, either so it's a personal problem. Either they either they found love and it's reminding them of that, or they didn't find love and they're they're sad about that, or I don't know. I just but when asked, it was. It was so beautiful. Well, maybe they're not in touch with themselves. Oh, so what you're saying is they need psychiatric help. They've revealed. They don't need psychiatric help, but I do think it, it was something about them that was revealed. Okay. Well, I just... Here's my thing. I don't care if people cry at any... I know people that that, that cry when they just see a, a, a cute dog. You know? like You can cry at anything. I was just more curious as like the norm of like... People... I always... I th- You know what? I think it's 50-50. Um, people could tell us in the comments. I think it's 50-50 of people who cry at weddings and people who don't cry at weddings. Um, and I think it's also 50-50 with like the groom. I think 50% of the grooms just watch the person walk down the aisle. They're all right. And the other 50% cry. And and um, I think it's going to be divided like that. I think it's 50-50. Yeah. It's going to be, what is it? Um, What was that thing? It was so famous. Lanny. Oh, um, Laurel or Nanny? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Or, what you, or the blue and black dress and the gold. Yeah, um, I th- because I I've seen both, so I'm going to say both are normal. You are not abnormal if you can just watch the person walk down the aisle and you're not crying, and you you're not abnormal if you're sobbing. And some people like like they'll go if my if my spouse doesn't cry when they see me, I'm mad. Other people say don't like I'll turn back around to walk. So out. you need to find the right part. You need to find the person who. Is yeah. in the same page as you. Yeah. Well, unless you can just endure it for the day. I'm team no tears at weddings. Save tears for the funeral. I don't even like tears at funerals. I don't either. <laughs> We're a niche group over here. I say compose yourself. I, I just think it, it it takes me out of like what I... When someone is doing something audibly next to me, it distracts me. In a way of like, oh no. <laughs> if I ever have a wedding, I don't know. I don't want anyone to cry in the audience. I think I might get mad. I think I'll look over. Oh, you could have a get. You could have a tears bouncer who. Yeah. Oh, you're out. You can't come to the reception. Yeah, get out. If you cry at my wedding, you can't come to the reception. Like a Johnny. What are you crying for? At Johnny. Would you, would, you didn't expect this. You didn't expect for me to get. That's what. That's also what it is. Who would have thought? It's like, oh, what? You didn't think I'd get married? This was standard. This was always in the life plan. I don't know why they're crying. Johnny Depp's court court appearance. You'd thing. love Johnny Depp. 
I know. I don't know if I love the the I don't know the giant Depp's court appearance. I love the court appearance yeah. situation. I don't know. I think he's kind of a different Johnny Depp now. August twenty twenty two. I liked July. Was it July? June? Have you seen him? May? Since? I think it was May. Have you seen him? Since? Yeah, I've seen him bouncing around. Okay. I think he's a little uh. Oh, big for his britches now. Well, he's a little he's a little drunk on the joy and um other stuff. I think he's drunk, <laughs> drunk on the drunk, drunk on the drink. And there were the bailiffs would would study the gallery. That's the audience. And if there was any nonsense, you're they got quietly taken out, so you could have that for your wedding. Yeah, yeah, no crying at my wedding. Mm-mm. And then therefore I shall not cry. Because if I see someone cry, I'll cry. I wouldn't like. Them to cry. Well, no, because because this is why there's no crying in my way. Sorry, would you finish your thought? No, I don't know. I could still do it later. <laughs> All right. This is why I don't want people to cry at my wedding. Like I said, those things don't invoke tears in me. Not because I don't care as much as you and how dare someone say that. All right. Because I care differently. I, And so when my bride, a potential bride walks down the aisle and I am not, in fact, crying, I'm happy, I'm joyous. It's one of the great days in life. Yeah. How dare someone then be crying in the audience? It's like I'm not crying. You shouldn't be crying. If I start crying, that's a, maybe that's a, maybe that's a difference. No, everyone's allowed. Maybe no, that's oh difference. my god, you you want everyone to cry? You no, know, you have to follow, follow the leader. Like it's, like the lisp of the king, the king of Spain. Yes, it's the bride and groom's day. If they're crying, you're crying. If they're not, don't. You can't make yourself cry. What? I, I, you can't make yourself cry. I don't know. They can do whatever they want. I, you know what I do, I do cry with? And this is a spiritual podcast. And not all weddings are spiritual. But all spirituality is a wedding. <laughs> um, some spiritual music, especially sung live. I think only sung live. Uh, especially if there's um, a lot of people singing it. Yeah. I It, it touches me emotionally. And I, and I can cry. I can actually... Like, I... I won't be able to sing anymore because I'm so choked yeah, up. Yeah, you know. Okay, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. I'm gonna change my whole perspective. Okay. I'm not against crying at weddings. Okay. But you must explain this to me. Okay. If you do cry at a wedding, so I'm gonna go up to you and say that. It's been brought to was, my attention. Did something happen here differently that would make that made you cry, or would you cry at every wedding? There are some songs yeah. that will bring a tear to your eye. Yeah. Are you gonna cry at every song? No. Every sad song. No. So I guess that's like my bigger question because of, of course, oh, it's a beautiful moment. It's like, oh, is it weird to cry at a song? It's like, well, not if it's a song. That, it's not if it's a powerful song. Is it weird to cry at a wedding? Not if it's a tear jerking wedding. Right. That's like, that's, so that's my new thing. So it's an easy defense. If I'm like, oh, it was like special. It's like, it was special. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, who am I to say don't cry? But how does, how can it be special? Same thing with the, that, that. And I think that goes with airplanes and movies. If the airplane had terrible turbulence, you lose an engine and you land. No. Hudson River? No. Hudson River? What was his name? Sully? Yeah. You better be all clapping. No. I, I, clapping I, once you hit the water. I say. A movie? You, if you say, I just found a new top five. No. Just clap. You're not you clapping just at minions. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. Let's just move on. Okay. <laughs> I think Wednesday's turned into. Oh, what was it? Um, we had all one podcast. What grinds my gears? Oh, right. It's Wednesday's is morphing into. Because you know I have all these days where I'm not getting to talk to anybody, and um. I know, but I want to cheer the people up. Oh, okay. Um, National Watermelon Day. Nothing cheers me up quite like a slice of watermelon. Watermelon is such a um like a user friendly fruit. I would beg to differ. <laughs> I think it's the least... An apple is a very user-friendly fruit. No. You pick it up or you just grab it from the tree. The low-hanging no. fruits. No. Anksh. Water, watermelon, you you go into an island. How are you eating it? You're going to break it between your um, thighs. You're going to break it between your thighs. You're going to make a mess of it. <laughs> no. Um, how, you, how are you... You could just drop it and it'll crack open. Yeah, that's kind of dirty. Now you're dropping fruits on floors. How is that more user-friendly than an apple okay. or grapes? Because let me tell you, no, don't ever say grapes. Um, apples, there's so many apples and there's so many ones that you're not going to like. And also if you eat through an apple, you eat the core. Okay. And like, you wouldn't know that. And oh. sometimes I get allergic to apples. Uh, you might get allergic to like the pesticides. Maybe. No, I, it's actually something else. <laughs> I'm serious. I looked it up. But, um, 
Grapes, they have that skin. Sometimes they have seeds. Sometimes they're super tart and terrible. Watermelon is user-friendly. It's good for babies all the way up to adults. And then once old, it's cut, post, get into the fruit. Old people, is what we're it's about. easy to cut. Is it? Yeah. Once again, only if you have the tools. A knife? Oh, that's a tool. Listen, you need a sharp one and a big one. You can't open a coconut. That's too nah, hard. That's the, I think coconut might be the least user-friendly. Um, no. Well, or a mango. Yeah. No, ma- yeah, mangoes are terrible. Mangoes are pretty tough. Um, I just say that it's the most user-friendly because you there's not many terrible types like with the apples. Is there terrible apples or is there just like apples you don't choose? There's terrible ones. And um, like, I Well, I agree. Fruit bowl. Did anyone ever choke on a watermelon? No. But you choke on all the other fruit. Well, how would you get a watermelon in your mouth? <laughs> no, I meant the fruit. Cut fruit. No, no. That's what... Oh, yeah. No, I completely agree with you. If we're having fruit bowl per prepared fruit bowl, uh-huh. watermelon is... You can put it into a baby's mouth. Yeah. And he'll say yummy or yeah. he'll say goo goo gaga. Right. You can put it into an old man's mouth with no teeth and he'll say yummy or <laughs> goo goo gaga. <laughs> gaga. Um, yeah. It, it, it's, it's refreshing. Uh-huh. It's very widely liked. Um, I think more than the other fruits. Right. That's you, why I said user friendly. Because like you can be pretty sure. Like if you were offering somebody fruit and you would say, here, try my kiwi. Be like, eh, no, thank you. Who, who, who doesn't like watermelon? I don't think user friendly. What's the word of like? Universally. Universal. Universally. It's the most universally. Delectable. <laughs> the universally. Fruit. Universal yeah. fruit. I'll give it that. I mean, it's. I don't eat fruit. Love watermelon. So, I mean, I, I'm i only really disagreeing on the getting it open part. Yeah. I, I'm the fastest watermelon cutter around. Are you? I used to practice. Do you waste it? No. Oh, good. No, I'm, 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 I'm very skilled. There's so many fun ways to cut watermelons that I see on TikTok. Yeah, I do the... I, I cube, cube them. Oh, yeah. Cubus zirconium. Yeah. I uh, I timed it from set up to fully clean. That's, mm-hmm. how, that's how I time it, too. Mm-hmm. I, I don't time... Because... You see people do it in factories, and it's like they're in a watermelon cutting plant, so they're they're just chop chop, and they're throwing all the rinds on the floor that's getting swept up or whatever. Right. No, my time starts with me pulling it out, and then it ends with clean, nothing sticky, no rinds. I think I got it down to like two minutes. Two, what? Two, two minutes, something. We're gonna have to video that. We can do a, a YouTube short. Yeah, I'll, it might be a YouTube long, but two uh-huh. minutes. Oh, two minutes. You're yeah. right. Oh well, we could do a very short, regular vi- <laughs> video. We could maybe put it on TikTok. Yeah, we need to go back on. We have a TikTok account. If you go on it, you're going to see that we haven't done anything for a whole year. Taking a little break, a little high eight. <sighs> There's a lot in life that ha- happens, but we keep going forward. Um, congratulations to Ekansu and Davide. Oh, by the way, the wedding was great. I I feel like one thing I didn't caveat. If if anyone's watching this, I know I said that earlier. What? I, I said earlier, what if they're watching? And you said it wasn't beautiful enough to bring me to tears. And I said, well, it was beautiful, right? Because. Oh, yeah. No, it was phenomenal. and had mm-hmm. the best time. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right. Thank you for inviting you because yes. um, you love weddings. I do love weddings. I and great um, time. maybe Ekansu and Davide will get married. They have one. Love, Who? Love Is Island. Is in the Bible? <laughs> it sounds a little bit. Sounds a little love, biblical. Love Island uh, 2022, the UK one. I don't watch the USA one. Um, and it finished while we were not on air. Oh, man. And and you've kept up with it, right? Yes. And uh, Are you happy who won? Yeah, they were, I'm happy they won. There was no point in, in getting too worked up about it because the... Um, Wait, did you cry? <laughs> yeah. No. Um, the, the, they, were, they were favored to win. So, like, if you bet on them, you weren't winning anything at the, um, uh. at the bookie. And the the billionaire thing came through too while we were away, right? I think someone won. Yeah, I think someone won up in Illinois. I know. I had to like <sighs> ask for my down payment back on my three million dollar house. Why'd you say up in Illinois? Isn't it over? No, Illinois is northwest. It is. Yeah, I think it's, it's just no, west because it's it's on it's on the it's right next to Michigan. It's on the Great Lakes, Chicago. which are all. Illinois. The lowest Great Lake is Lake Erie, which mm-hmm. is on the top of Pennsylvania. It's up there. Can you see it? Okay. Right. So um, all these things happened, but the most important thing that happened was that 
you know I don't eat meat. Congratulations. And that's not news because it's been years and years and years. But Pope Francis just said that maybe maybe you eat less meat. Come on, everybody. Really? Yeah. Huh. Which is totally shocking because he's from... Argentina? Argentina, which is a huge beef eating um, country. But... Um, what was he saying? What he said was, he, he you know, he's worried about the planet and supposedly cattle for food is bad for the planet. Yeah. All the methane they fart out. Yeah. And also um, the majority of places where meat for food comes from is, should I say majority? I don't know. A lot of the places are inhumane. Um, is that a word? Yeah. For animals? Shouldn't it be inanimal? <laughs> No, it's, so inhumane. In, it's inhumane because the way they do it. And yeah. so he was saying it's not a very humane way to handle it. He was animals. saying, yes, um, we're allowed to eat meat and it's it's biblically. Um, we're, we've straight we've straight, str- straight away from you know traditional meat eating. Yeah. And it's turned a little bit on the negative side. Yeah. Okay. So, so he made this statement. And I wow. was like, what? I bet people are just tearing him up more for it. Oh, yeah. He's he's really rolling out with a. He doesn't a lot care. of people chasing him. No, I know. He's the man. Um, I've always said that. I've always said, you know, one day that could be one of those things that, you know, you look back a hundred years and it's like, you guys were killing animals. Oh, so yeah. barbaric. And, we're, right. and then our, the defense would be, well, that's all we've ever done. And I always think about it because like, you know, we never know what is going to be normalized or negatively connotated in the future, just like they didn't in the past. Right. And, the same way in the Bible, you know, we think that we all know things now. Um, we all think that in any situation, some of the worst situations through history, that we would be on the right side of it. Right. But a lot, like that's always sort of my, not argument, like I'm not arguing to say those people were all fine for doing bad things in the past. Right. But it was, I think you'd be surprised how easy it is to go with the times no matter what. Right. And everyone here is you know oh, it's inhumane and i think it'll be the few people that were vegetarian that's like oh wow they were they saw it way before right and in the history books when it's like they had animals oh there's a few people that stood against it but they were the minority yeah and then um they would just have to find a good supplement though because there is the always the nutritional problem of not- nutritional and and cost the one if those two problems are sorted out then um it's it's gravy right vegetarian gravy <laughs> um it is wednesday which means it's one word wednesday mm-hmm. um which have been a little bit all over the place for the past few weeks i think last week it was the 28th minute that we brought it up and um <laughs> we actually know we we did a reverse so we were just talking for the whole time and then we said i guess uh why does the one word wednesday it, it, be it presented lottery? itself to us right yeah. yeah do you have anything um, no. All right. I'll tell you something. And this word, one word Wednesday is going to be freedom, which we might have done before, but I have something to say. And it, it, the, the end answer is freedom. Okay. Okay. So, um, we do on Instagram every day. Spencer is on there and he is doing Bible verses on the reels, on the post. And, and then there's, um, a poll on the story. So it's much enjoyed by everyone. The world. But not, I shouldn't say everyone, by, by a lot of people, but not by everyone. And sometimes people get upset and they see your face and they say. And they just get angry. They, they get even, angry. They don't even watch the video. It's just my face that angers them. No, it, they, they like your face. So then they, they look at the caption and then they realize you're saying a Bible verse and it makes them angry. <laughs> it makes them angry. So sometimes they'll write and they'll say you're a dummy because there is no God or there you're a dummy because what you're saying is a fairy tale or you're a dummy because you're believing in something that you have no proof in. So these people get blocked. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the word blocked. These people get blocked and the, and the comment gets deleted. So if, if someone's written something and they get, they go back, how could they go back? They're blocked. But if, if it's like, how dare you? This is what I was thinking about. Um, seeing, we don't want to hurt people. Okay. So when people see us saying Bible verses, 
it's hurting them, these particular people, because they're letting us know it's hurting them because then they, they then write, take this down. Take it down now. <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah. So we don't want to, we don't want to hurt them anymore. So the same way, um, you know, uh, things are always being taken off or, or you're, you're putting filters up. I, if you ever see like an ad on Instagram and it'll say, um, and then you can, you can push like, I don't want to see ads like this yeah. anymore. And it's like, why not? And it's like, cause I'm not interested in, yeah. in, um, meat or whatever. Yeah. So it's the same way, but except we're giving them the filter. So they're telling us, I don't like to see this. And then we're saying, okay, you don't have to see it. But it made me think the other day, we got a message like this and it said, you are a dummy because, and this is not verbatim, but it was like, you're a dummy because you're following something that you, that like, you shouldn't trust that this is true and you have no proof that this is true. And when I, uh, when I, um, when I thought about it and mulled over it in my head, I said to myself, well, the first, the first thing I would say would be like, well, we'll see, right? Because you don't know either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> we both don't know. You're choosing to not believe and I'm choosing to believe. And I have lots of reasons why I believe. And then one day um, we will find out and I'm not hurting myself in the meantime, right? Yeah. But then I realized, no, I, so uh, the, why I said freedom was because that's what I thought when I find, when it dawned on me that my belief right now, our belief gives me freedom right now, right now. So there is this waiting to see what will happen in the afterlife and, you know, waiting for how heaven will, will look and everything like this. But there's also a freedom right this very second in this current alive state on earth because, because I believe that, I feel free right now. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So like if we, if me and, and this person are in prison together and I believe that I'm getting out, you know, and yeah. he says... You're so stupid. Whoever told you that you're getting out, you're not. Yeah. Me believing, well, I am getting out is making me happy in prison. Yeah. So I already have the freedom. Obviously, there's going to be such a great happiness and reward at, the, at the, when I do actually die. But for them to think, like when, when you say we're both here together and neither one of us know, but I have the happiness of my faith. Yeah. 100%. And if I'm just going to give a broad sweep of the brush here, I think that's why, you know, we are not targeting people who don't believe in God and saying, listen to this Bible verse. We're not commenting on atheist posts saying, well, there is a God. So yada, yada, you're dumb. Um, you don't believe in anything. There is a reason that it goes the other way around, I think. And that reason is for people who, Ha you know, you earlier we were talking about crying. You're like, they have someone else going on. Right. And so the crying has to do with it. I think it's the same thing. I think when you feel lost in the universe, right? Because it's like, well, I am anxious that when I die, it all goes to black. I at least, you know, misery loves company. It's, right. I want everyone to be having this anxiety with me. Right. They see someone living with freedom and they're like, no, no, that's, that's, right. a, that's a false freedom. Ooh, nothing's going to happen. And right. it, it's all part of that lack of being free where it's like you see someone, you're stuck in a cage and you want the other person in that cage with you. Because right. it's like they're walking around saying la di da and you're like, oh, what are you doing? Like, get in the cage. It's going to end bad for us. And, and yeah. I think it's why you see such a disproportional amount of people coming to believers saying why are you believing then believers saying why aren't you right <clears throat> and there's just one tiny more thing and as for deleting the comment and blocking the person don't we have a responsibility to bring sheep into the fold i say no um we always repeat let those who have ears hear yeah right they obviously don't have the ears at this time to hear it. And it doesn't say like, let those who have ears teach people who don't have ears, you know? So we are putting content out for the people who, who are ready to receive it. Yeah. But it's not our responsibility that someone gives us a pushback and then we say, here, let me, let me help you 
understand where I'm coming from. Like, yeah. like I said, we're, we're obviously hurting them, so we don't want to. You yeah, know. exactly. I think it's a little egotistical to think I can teach them. I, right. I can make them know better. No, you can't. And if anything, you can make it worse. You can. Right. You can make them hate it more. Yeah. You ever see someone do something prejudice or or racist, and then the person this, this is what the speaker like in like a civil rights movement. What like Martin Luther King or Gandhi. This was the point of the the peaceful protest or just the walk, the sit-ins. These, if some if someone calls me, um, I don't know, or a, a name that's attacking, oh, uh, you stupid half Irish, half Trinidadian, you all are the worst. Anytime mm-hmm. again, Irish Trinidadian together, they're the worst. And I punch them in the face, mm-hmm. or I say, you're wrong, yada yada. That's going to, they're going to then walk away right. and say, they are the worst. Look, I, I met one, yeah. punch me in the face. Right. It, 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 it infuriates them more. And, and so that's why they try to get a reaction. That's why they're commenting. And it's like, because they want you to say, oh, well, actually, that battle, battle, battle. If it's, that's, that's, your, that's yeah. your belief. And then you continue living a good life. And then they just see nothing phases you and you're just happy. Right. And same way they're in that cage. They're trying to pull you in, get in this cage. Yeah. If they just see you, no, I'm not minding you. I'm ha- I'm happy out, out here. And the sooner you realize there's no lock to that cage. Right. And you're free to come out whenever you decide. Right. The, and, the, and the it's not to yell at them. It's to be happy out there and yeah. let them come to you. How about that? Something like that. Something along those lines. Yeah. Um, but that is our podcast. You have the freedom to cry. And I choose not to there's it's fine <laughs> okay it, it's all good and if you, you she if, was wearing sunglasses if you want to cry you put your glasses on she was it. wearing sunglasses because she was crying the whole time no, I maybe, wasn't. This, maybe this is all an insecurity because i really wanted to cry and wow. i'm am, am i the atheist in this scenario maybe am i the jealous one maybe. that's like you can just cry in public anywhere you can clap anywhere maybe i'm i'm not allowing myself <laughs> <laughs> peace